getting little bits of unplugged time when I can is really important. I'm going to try and at least do like one day of retreat per quarter, totally offline, just, you know, meditating as much as I can in that day. So not even an active day. Like you don't set it aside to think about stuff. It's literally a day to not think (laughs) and just disconnect. Invariably, I will think about stuff. And I actually did a couple of days. I tried this out where I did what I now call a CEO retreat. Maybe did that like a month and a half ago. And I meditated for four hours a day, which was awesome and put me in this really spacious frame of mind. But then I also brought a bunch of books. And so then it was just kind of like cycling between meditation and reading and writing and, you know, getting a lot of inspiration. So that um, I would also try, like to try and start doing, you know, at least once or twice a year, sort of like Bill Gates does with his Think Weeks. Yeah, just having a little bit more formalized structure around that. And then, of course, drinking rasa helps. I'm also really into tea and tea ceremony. And that ties into the meditation in a way for a bit. So like drinking tea out of a cup is great, but drinking the right kind of tea ceremonially, in my experience, it's like it puts my body in a meditative state and all I have to do is show up and can literally be like that wide open space of like, I've been on retreat for four days. And, you know, so yeah, tea ceremony is a a really great way for me to have access to more spaciousness. I would say a lot of what I'm going towards is more energy and more spaciousness more awareness, cultivating more awareness. And then a practice that I do as much as possible throughout the day that is easy, free, and I would recommend to anyone is what's called second attention practice. And that is right now my primary attention is on talking to you, but you can cultivate another layer of attention kind of underneath that. Like as As I'm talking about this, you could be listening to me and have your primary attention on me, but you could also be thinking about your right foot at the same time. Amazing, right? Um, And we've all had this experience too when we are driving somewhere and we get to our destination and we're like, wow, I don't even remember the last 10 minutes of the driving. And that's because your thoughts became your primary attention and driving became the secondary attention. And so having your primary attention on whatever it is that you're doing in your day, but having a secondary attention that connects you to presence. And that can be your breath. Breath is easy, free and cheap and regulates your nervous system as well. That can be an affirmation that you're working with. It can be awareness of your body. It can be awareness of your energy. It can be a mantra. It can be any number of things, visualizing something that inspires you or is, you know, what you're, what you're going towards, but you just kind of keep coming back to that all day long, as many times as you can throughout the day. And I'll say at my worst, you know, it might be, I might not remember it for a week and be like, ah, shit, that was Tuesday. And now it's next Tuesday. And I completely forgot about the entire time, but on a good day, I'll remember a hundred times and just kind of keep coming back to it, keep coming back to it. And then that muscle gets stronger and stronger. And then you're more rooted in something that gives you that little bit of separation between you and your reactivity and gives you a little bit more awareness so that you're again, making better decisions and not coming from a a narrow frame of mind. 